Good morning and Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everybody's having a good new year like I am. It is January 12th, 2018, and I thought it was about time to do a, a DIY lithium battery update. It's been since midsummer since I've done anything with my lithium battery projects. Uh, mostly that's be, been because my job's been really busy. Uh, but moreover, I've had a terrible year uh, with severe arthritis in my right hip. It has caused me lots and lots of pain, and I haven't felt like doing anything besides just trying to take it easy. Well, 10 days ago, I had total hip replacement uh, surgery on my right hip, and it went extremely well. They kept me in the hospital for 32 hours, and then they sent me home. So I've been home for a little over a week now, and things are going along really good. Uh, started out in a walker, as you can see here, uh, not very much fun there. But as of a couple of days ago, I'm now walking around with a cane and doing really, really well, and I'm really happy about that. So. Hopefully in the next week I can get on to doing some battery bank building. I've got 72 used reclaimed cells here. I've divided them up into two 36 uh, cell packs. I want to build two separate 12 volt batteries out of these. So I have a question concerning the size of uh, these battery banks. Let's take a look at this one I built over the summer. This is a 12 volt pack consisting of 12 cells. Uh, this is the biggest uh, DIY pack I've ever built. Uh, I'm trying to figure out just how many watt hours that this pack would be. Uh, the way I see it, you figure it out by figuring out how many milliamp hours it is. Uh, each cell to the best of my knowledge, was around 2,000, 2,200 to 2,300 milliamp hours. I didn't use anything under 2,000 milliamps. So in doing the math, I believe that would make this 12 cell pack. Well, let's just assume that each cell is right at 2,000 milliamps and I got 12 cells. So I believe that would make this a 288 watt hour pack. Not sure. So now let's move on to the 236 cell packs that I'll be building here pretty soon. So if I were to do the same math on those, assuming that each cell was 2000 milliamps, I believe that would give me about 846 watt hours. So with that, now I'm wondering how many watt hours do I have to have to get a kilowatt? I think it's a thousand. So in other words, this 36 cell pack would be just under a kilowatt. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Anyway, anybody out there want to help me out with uh, trying to figure that out? It'd be much appreciated. So for now, I'm going to... Uh, after once I start feeling better, I'm going to get the soldering iron out and set it up and uh, start putting together these two 36 cell packs and uh, see what we get. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.